hey guys welcome back to a brand new vlog if you are new here thank you so much for joining and if you are returning welcome welcome back thank you thank you so much for your loyalty i truly truly appreciate each and every one of you guys so it's a new day it's a monday it's work day and i have been working and at some point i had to take a break and then just quickly run my errands which is groceries um just that groceries toiletry that's all and then i came back home and i must say that food is really expensive and i mean everyone has been complaining about food including myself and um and all of that has actually made me to question most of the things that i buy when it comes to food or even the brands when i buy sorry the brands that i buy when it comes to food and um yeah it, it wasn't a much difficult exercise it's just one of those you realize that dove soap is expensive now and what else can you buy besides the dove soap um surely there should be other options i also do know that there are cases where you just don't want to change or you're not willing to compromise and that's okay i also have those um kind of things such as my dove shower gel i'm just not willing to compromise even though i do make use of other shower gels i want to use the other ones as optional but i still need to have my dove shower gel so um things like soap i had to like change um yeah so i did my groceries and this month for the first time in the longest time i'm so happy with the amount that i paid for food and um yeah i'm just happy and i went to uh normally i buy my groceries at different stores there's certain things that i prefer getting them from pick and pay or maybe they're cheaper at pick and pay or only pick and pay has it and there's certain ones checkers and discam or clicks woolies giant and my favorite store out of all has to be giant favorite favorite store guys if you have a giant close to you please i know that there are other supermarkets that are more like giant i don't know much about them but i do know about giant and um so i did my groceries i was planning to actually like not to spend a lot of money but at the same time i want to have everything that i need for the month so i went to giant and i picked up all the things that i need picked up and when i looked at my trolley because it was packed when i looked at it i was like there is just no way that i'm gonna pay less than a thousand rand for these items got to the till um so i was like i, I have to get all of these things i'll see how much they cost scanned everything and at the end i think i paid I think I probably paid like 1050 rand, something like that. I'll get the receipt and show you. And I'm just happy. And then I went to Discam to get a few toiletries. There, obviously, like, there's just no doubts about it. It's pricey. I paid um, 300 and something. But I also spoiled myself with some um, body oil from Dr. Teal's. Uh, I didn't buy anything for myself this month, even though it was Black Friday. And then I just got a few things that Giant didn't have, or I felt that they would be cheaper at pick and pay. Then I came back home, but all in all, I paid 1500 For all the items, I just quickly want to show you guys that... From that amount, you could walk out of a store. You can still walk out of the store. Wait, why is it so bright? Yeah, you could still walk out of the store with four plastics. And I mean four plastics is what I walked out to. And it's four full plastics too. 
the this is the name of the store, Giant Piper. And this was from this cam. Let me quickly show you what I bought, bought for myself. And I want to try this um, essential, uh, sorry, body oil. I don't know what's happening with the light. Yeah, I want to try this. That's what I bought. And like I mentioned, this was on special. Like I mentioned, I did change the bath soap. I'm now using Dettol. I used to use Dettol. Um, at home, they still do use Dettol. So whenever, and whenever I'm at home, I do make use of Dettol if I take a bath at home. And then I had to buy myself this. I'm buying a second one. I did mention that I have one that I bought yeah so that's all from this came and then a pick and pair quickly popped in I actually forgot to get this at a giant they did have but I, I didn't get it then I bought some yogurt I was hoping that they have some yogurt special because they always have I always buy a pick and pay for my son um, and then I got this bread I feel like having eggs and I've just had load shedding now and I was busy working and then two o'clock came I just am taking a short break well I took a short break I'm still on it um, I just had to also take care of my plant during this short break that I'm taking and it's looking so good I am so proud of myself that plant I had given up on it um, I don't know two vlogs before this well two vlogs before this one I did mention that it was dead and I need to buy plants um, I, I need to buy two plants actually well I was supposed to replace that one the second one on the two plants I wanted to buy was going to replace that one and then yesterday yesterday when I was meaning to throw well first Yesterday I went to Woolies to go get the plant and Canal Walk actually didn't really have nice plants or at least the plants that I feel like I can take care of. So I thought, okay, I'll check at another Woolies where I actually bought this one because this plant, 
this plant can survive so i came back home and because i couldn't get the plant i then decided that okay at least let me just get rid of this one because it's dead the leaves were like falling off uh, not falling off like dropping they were dropping off and for some reason i just had a bit of hope and that hope told me that just water this plant and monitor and see how it behaves so yesterday sunday yesterday was sunday i think friday uh, no saturday i took the plant put it outside um i watered it and then later on i saw that okay now it's not like sloppy it the leaves are still dropped uh, were still dropped but you could see that now it's alive and then sunday yesterday i again poured water and this morning monday i again poured water and now it's like back to life back to life so i thought let me just um cut off those dead um parts on the leaves and but before i could do that could do that i first had to refer to my you know big brother google just to check if it's safe or how i should do it so yes it's safe to just cut the parts that are dead which is what i've just done and i'm i'm just thinking that maybe i just need to find a way in which i can put those live like those dropped leaves i i just want to see how they can again be up or i don't know maybe they are the plant is meant to be like that i don't know but i will see i will continue monitoring this plant because i love it so much and i'm just happy i'm just happy that it is looking alive and yeah this morning i also removed the nail color at green nails i removed them and i'm hoping that i'm gonna, i hope that i'm gonna have time to do um a different color today if not tomorrow morning after dropping off my baby i can come back and do my nails um now i'm going to be having a meeting at three and i was actually rushing i was supposed to have a meeting from two till three three till 3 30 but because of load shading well not because of load shading because i was going to hotspot from my phone but um two till three the person that requested that i move it to well they've been moving it moved they moved it to 3 30 today then was moved to wednesday so that's out of the way i only have the meeting at three which i have already prepared for and now i'm just gonna continue with my work with what i need to do for now until my three o'clock meeting oh i also need to pack away the grocery
back to a new day of the vlog it is a Thursday and I honestly cannot wait for a Friday because it has been a very difficult week but I'm pushing I'm pushing and um, this morning was very rocky my emotions were rocked to the highest by my baby um, but eventually um, he got to school and um, just to calm myself down, I decided to do some home workout so that I can just collect myself and not let that spoil my day because I am aware that um, he's not doing that deliberately or intentionally. He's just a baby. Um, but on the other side, I also have emotions and I should be allowed to feel, um, yeah. So that is what happened this morning. I am busy working, but now I'm going to have my breakfast. Um, after workout, I took a very nice shower. Like I just gave myself a mini treat after everything. Worked out, took a shower, scrubbed my body, um, applied some essential oil with lavender and masked my face and my hair is a mess though but you can ignore that I'm, I'm caught up between washing the hair it's been two weeks I'm on the third week with this hairstyle so I'm caught up between washing this and continuing or just taking it off and going to the salon and get a new um, sew in but that's not gonna be today maybe it's gonna be weekend if I take it off, I can do that today, but for me to go to the salon, that can't be today, which is Thursday or Friday, could be Saturday, I don't know, but yeah, I'm just ready to start my day. I have this bottle that I got, which it's huge, it's two liters. And when I was doing my workout, I just filled it up with water up until 750 mils, which I have finished and I'm just proud of myself for that. So now I am quickly going to the, just on this, it's as small as you can see it. 
there is just no exaggeration it's a small ball but i've tried to fill it up and yeah i'm gonna start working I don't know how I'm gonna do it. I might just leave it as is. I know there's a there's a, a layer that I tried to take out and I just could not. So maybe I'm just gonna wait for the weekend so I can get help. And but I would have loved because I know that this coming weekend, which is like the first weekend of December, it's really going to get busy at salons. Because a lot of people I know that they would be traveling for their holidays, especially school kids. They are done writing, so they will be traveling and they need to do their hair. So it's going to get packed. And I honestly do not like waiting at the salon. So I'm going to be forced to, or I'm just hoping that it's not going to be packed. Um, yeah, I've just, I finished that 750 mils and the time it's quarter past two so i've filled up from just below 3 p.m which is halfway but it's just above 750 so basically i might if i finish this i'm going to close off the, or end of this on this day at least with 1.5 liters of water in my body which is going to be flushed out and uh, I just don't want to go there so I have been working I'm just taking a break guys it's supposed to slow down at work but it's just getting so um, I've just put together my plan because I'm a person that likes working with plan or at least planning 
So I've done that, tried to plan for my December, how I'm going to tackle my work, which has helped because now I don't feel as overwhelmed as I was feeling yesterday because at least now I have a direction, I know what I'm going to do when. Uh, so I am just browsing through this recipe book. I bought this from a thrift shop. Um, it's more of Italian recipes and... I'm gonna take my other book. I do have a recipe book that I bought it at home. I'm trying to try something new, so I will check from that recipe book because at least it's gonna have things that I think I can cook. But out of this one, I've checked, I couldn't find anything. Um, yeah, and also um, from this morning's emotions, um, at some point I was trying to put on ice into my water try to take out the ice tray from the fridge but I guess it's too stuck um, at the bottom I ended up pulling just two cubes um, which was breaking the ice tube um, the ice tray sorry so um, I, I used the ice though now I was now that I'm calm not that I, I broke it because I wanted to. I was not aware that it stuck and I was sort of trying to pull it. I don't know, I might have used so much force which I was not aware of. So um, after I've used those ice tubes, I was wondering should I throw this away? Then I realized that actually I can make use of it. I have um, coffee pods that I had bought at some point um, at Nespresso but my issue with them is that I don't think it's parts that you can use for yourself unless you are looking for very strong coffee and you want to drink too much of it because if you saw on the machine just one part it filled up the coffee mug so i will never be able to drink that and i've had them for some time now i've been thinking what should what will i do with these unless i have a friend over for like a coffee date and a catch up but i haven't had that time because people are also busy um, so this is the it's golden caramel um one time i did it actually i had to throw like Half of the coffee mug which I feel was a waste and I will never buy this size again there's an there's a bigger size than this I'll never buy this size because for me it does not work I always just make coffee for myself so having this big one where unless it, it could be a situation where I do it and only use half and use the other half tomorrow but yeah, I might do that just to make sure that I finish off these ones, but in future, I'm not going to do that. Or maybe I'll stick to this plan until I'm out of them, I finish them. So I filled up two, because those ice cubes are actually huge. So I filled up two of them with the coffee and I will just use them for iced coffee. So I'll, I'll use one ice cube. When I want to have iced coffee, just add water, a little bit of water and milk, and then just... I don't know if it's going to work, because I'm going to need now to wait for that to melt. Maybe. I don't know. I think... I, okay, we'll, we'll just see how it goes with those two, and then we'll take it from there. And I also just made, prepared some food for my baby for when he comes back from school. Um, so the only thing that I still need to do is rice. Then when he comes back, I can just dish up. Because with him, immediately you just need to make sure that when he gets inside the house, the first thing you do is to give him proper food. Or else it's going to get to a point where he starts asking for chips. He starts seeing this, he starts wanting this, and then it's going to be, he will eat eventually, but it will be a challenge for, for you to make sure that he eats properly. 
I'm thinking now maybe I should just dye the two bundles of wig that I have of wig that I have just to prepare myself for the weekend because this time I actually just want a middle part um, not the side I don't think that the side really worked for me I enjoyed it when I would do curls but outside of that keeping it straight and also we've been having very hot days so I feel like it would just be on my face managed to take off the weave um, I know that there are still what do you call the wool that's on my hair and I'm still undo the actual lines but I'm actually not in a hurry and I'm glad that I finally did it so at least I know today that's the first step towards having a new hairstyle and Tomorrow, I'm going to try and make time to undo my hair, which is Friday. Hmm. Tomorrow, I'm going to have to undo my hair and hopefully um, wash it. I prefer washing my hair at home. The only person that I prefer him to touch my hair is the guy that relaxes my hair and has always been the one that relaxes, relaxes my hair. So I am just going to wash my hair here at home and then go to the salon so that they can just do the lines again and put the wig. I'm honestly very lazy to dye the hair unless things change tomorrow. I'm lazy. I might just use the same hair. Um, I'm lazy to dye the hair. I'm lazy to do my nails. Um, but at least uh, I can leave my nails like this, at least they clean, other than chipped nails with color. So I'm not going to even bother myself with that. That's something that I can do 12 a.m. anytime I feel like I want to do it. I can do it. It's all in my control, talking about the nails. But for now, let me just, I'm going to cook rice. It's 20 to 5 now. 10 to 5, I want to be leaving to go fetch my baby. So I'm cooking rice so that when we walk inside the house, first thing is to dish up for him so that he can eat. I'm also charging his phone because once he, he's home, um, he doesn't understand that a phone needs to be charged. So I'll probably see you guys when I have him. 